Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God said, I should tell you. He said, hold on to what he has told you. The things that God told you alone. The things that you hear from God. Like you heard it from the Lord. You heard it from God. It is not that somebody is telling you, but you heard it from God. You heard it from God. God is saying, He said, Hold on to the things that I have told you. Hold on to the things that I have told you. This is very, very important. Sometimes we are discouraged, and God is saying, Don't be discouraged. Your miracle is closer than you are ever, that you can ever imagine. Some of us, even when God said, Oh, this is your miracle, we are not convinced anymore. Why? I understand you, and I am not disputing the fact that, Oh, you have been hearing it for so long. You have been hearing it for so long. If you have been hearing something for so long and it is not manifesting, you have to sit down sometime and ask yourself, is there something that I'm not doing right? Am I doubting the Lord? This is where you need to pray for mercy. I'm not just giving this message. I'm giving direction as well. This is where you need to pray for mercy. Hallelujah. This is where you need to pray for mercy because God keep to his promises. Look at the life of the life of the, the, the prostitute that saved the, the that saved the the, the, the the men of God when they came to spy in the city. Look at what happened. God keep the promises that he made to her that oh I will not destroy you and your family by bringing down this war. When I'm bringing down this city, I will not destroy you, I will not destroy your household. You know. God looked beyond our shame. He looked beyond our guilt. He looked beyond our mistakes. You understand? So when you have been hearing and hearing and hearing, you are like, ah, ah what is going on? It's been a year I've, I've heard the Lord told me this, but yet there is no manifestation. Sometimes you can pray, pray, just pray a prayer of mercy because a prayer of mercy helps a lot because sometimes our faith are very, very little our faith and some of us don't even have any faith at all we just hear we just want magic to happen without even having that faith you understand god says a very close miracle but yet you are not convinced but here we are again the lord is saying to you that your miracle is closer than you ever imagined the lord is saying to somebody said your miracle is closer hallelujah there are some things you told God alone. There are some things you told God alone. You were alone in that room. You were alone in that place. When you were praying that prayer, even with others, you were alone. When you were connecting with prayers, you were alone. And you know you were convinced that it is God that told you. And suddenly it seems as if the thing is going far. Have you asked yourself, why do you feel discouraged sometimes? After a while, you start building courage again. Because that time that we are being discouraged, these are the time that the devil normally accuse the people of God. The Bible said that he is an accuser of the brethren. He is an accuser of the brethren. God is saying that the miracle you seek, it is closer than you can imagine. But you are not convinced because you are like, ah, I have heard it so many things. I have heard it so many times, you know. Just like the way Sarah laughed. The Bible said when Sarah heard that those men were telling he, her husband Abraham that, oh, uh, by this time at the set time we will come and Sarah will have a child, uh, he will have a son and all of that. The Bible says Sarah laughed. Sarah laughed because she wasn't convinced. She wasn't convinced because all her life she might have been hearing it. That, oh, you are going to have a child. 
you are a mother of all nation mother of all nation mother of all nation the the prime time pass mother of all nation the time of period the time of menstruation part menstruation cycle pass mother of all nation menopause came mother of all nation white hair came mother of all nation old age came you know so she wasn't really convinced anymore though the miracle was even closer to her that she could imagine but she wasn't convinced that was why she laughed anyone in that situation we also laughed as well like what is evangelist are talking about have she not said this 24 uh, years ago have she not said it the, so maybe you have been following a minister that have been 10, 20 years or is it is youtube 20 up to 20 years i don't know when youtube was created anywhere anyway <laughs> um, i've been following that man of god for 10 years for 15 years he he said it 15 years ago it's been 15 years now i understand but by the mercy of god you know you will still have the miracle despite the fact that sarah was not convinced the bible said that she laughed because she wasn't convinced i am aged my husband is aged how can i be a son that was what was in her mind as the bible said even she had to even deny that no she did not laugh and i said okay the child shall be called laughter which is isaac hallelujah sometimes our laughter is closer than we ever imagine but because of the things of this world we get a little bit carried away because of the delay hallelujah a very close miracle but yet you are not convinced this is a prophetic word your isaac is closer than you think god is saying to you that your isaac house is closer than you think your isaac marriage is closer than you think you know your isaac car is closer than you than you ever think you understand your isaac wife your isaac husband your isaac job you know it is closer than you think so this is not the time to draw back because drawing back and doubting god we always end up in a way that we lose hope and we also start building hope again it's just like somebody that is almost there like ah, let me go back after you have gone back somebody is telling you ah why did you go back why did you go back just continue before you will not continue again it's like the thing have also gone far so i beg you in the name of the lord to be convinced that god is able to give you your isaac hallelujah god is able to give you your isaac child you might not be convinced i keep hearing this word you might not be convinced but mercy will speak for you because what he says he will do the bible says, has he said a thing and he did not bring it to pass when god say a thing he will bring it to manifestation he will bring it to pass hallelujah god is saying that the miracle is very close it is very close because you heard it from god it is not because I'm saying it now. You know what you heard from the Lord. You know what you heard from the Lord. The discussion you had with God. The conversation you have, you have with God. And when you have those conversations, there was a conviction in your spirit. There was a conviction in your spirit that the conversation was already answered. The supplication was already granted. But being granted, you have not seen the, the evidence in your hands. You have not seen the evidence in your hands. But God is saying to you that you have to be convinced. You have to be convinced. Because no matter what happens, you are not going to die without seeing your Isaac. Hallelujah. Sarah did not die without seeing her Isaac. She saw her Isaac. And she nurtured her Isaac, and her Isaac grew in her in her eyes, in her very old eyes, before she died. So you are not going to die before your Isaac will become an evidence in your life. I am praying for somebody that the Lord will show you mercy. You might not be convinced, but the mercy of God will help you so that the miracle that is very close, nothing will make you to miss it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not miss that miracle. You will not miss that miracle. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister 
evangelist said about the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.